Bills and much more. Uh, earlier today, or Craig saw a story about the escalators and how it, how they're built in that could be a welcoming pad, or so to speak, an entry for Notre Dame. That doesn't mean they're going to go to the Big Ten. Doesn't mean the Big Ten thinks they're going to, but for, but but looking into the future, what the escalators might mean. Well, why are we doing that? Why do we want to talk about money? Why do we, why do we want to do that? <laughs> right, Eric? Why do we want to talk about the money? It's all about the money right now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. That's what it's kind of like what everything done. in college sports is about at the moment. But apparently this isn't a story, but it is. So anyways, Sports Business Journal said yesterday, this is John Auerrand, um, he had a, uh, a piece on Notre Dame, and it was of interest uh, because of the fact that it's unique to Notre Dame in some ways. Uh, John Alran said there are escalators related to Notre Dame that are written into the Big Ten's media rights deals with CBS, Fox, and NBC. Though, Eric, the extra dollar amounts are not public knowledge. That specific dollar figure, which is not publicly known, is spelled out in the contracts. No other school is mentioned in these deals by name, and the contracts do not assign a dollar figure to any other school that may join the conference. According to sources, Notre Dame is the only school that has specific language about escalators so basically um notre dame is unique in that the big 10 is i guess in in so many words in these contracts let them know like here's the exact amount of money that you could expect to be making if you were to join up with the party whereas any other team you want to throw out there oregon washington they do not they do not have a precise idea of what that escalator would look like in the chances that they would join so it's an enticement uh, for sure, for Notre Dame to know exactly what's out in front of them and whether it's enough to you know, eventually get them to pull the trigger. I saw something earlier today, uh, Bob Thompson, the uh, TV exec, um, he was talking about, I guess, rumors he had seen. I, I don't remember where it originated, but he was responding to people who were saying that you know Notre Dame would add like another billion onto the deal. And he's like, well, if they added a billion, that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense because weren't we just talking about them only getting $60 million per year? Yeah. Like, that was the rumored report, which, again, like, believe what you want to believe out there. But if they're making a billion a year off themselves, or if they were to add a billion uh, just as their own university, like, why are you joining up again? Yeah. Like, why would you not be independent? Like, that, if you're making that much money and you can bring that much money to the table, like, that's where I, I have a little bit of a question mark, but I'm sure there's more details mm. to it than just okay. that. And... It's not with Notre Dame a specific dollar figure because they don't have to share their TV money with anyone. They get it all. They don't have to split up conference when it comes to football. They don't split any, any of that at all. It comes all right to them. Uh, they may, Look, they make money off of a, another conference. The ACC has to kick them money for football, for the games that they schedule with them because of that contract and everything, other sports that they have there. So they've got other revenue streams at Notre Dame. And so say – you know, the per year average at the Big Ten is $80 million. And Notre Dame would be making $60 million per year. And I'm just throwing those rough numbers out there. The $20 million they're not getting is the rent that they pay to be um, – the most powerful entity in college sports because they don't have to answer to anybody. Jack Swarbrick is a conference commissioner and he's in charge of one school. He has as much power as it may be more power than Jim Phillips, than Brett Yarmark, than George Klyovkov, and he's in charge of one school who gets to make their own decisions. And until they're told you need to win a conference title to get in the playoff, they're not going to change that because why would you do that if you didn't have to take that extra step, especially if now Kevin Warren and uh, Greg Sankey, who was always this way, are backing off automatic qualifiers in the playoffs. So that works out for Notre Dame great. They can make $60 million a year, still be the third most powerful entity in college football, and not have to answer to anyone but themselves. Yeah, there's another part to this. I just happened to catch uh, Eric. Eric, I'm not complaining, dude. Like, I don't know I don't know what B is in your bonnet today, brother, but I asked a question. I wasn't complaining about the money. Like, I don't know what soapbox you're trying to command today, but I ain't the one, brother. I, I'm not complaining about the money. I thought I made that clear. I don't want to have to repeat it again. So just enjoy the show or don't. Like, I mean, at this point, like, geez louise, man. So this is from uh, Awful Announcing. Uh, with Notre Dame. That specific dollar figure, which is not publicly known, is spelled out in the contracts. You know, I mentioned that, the no other school deal and all of that. 
Um, but then it gets into last month, CBS Sports reported that Notre Dame would require an annual media rights fee of $75 million to remain independent. I think the last like update was like, what, $60 million? I think was like kind of what was thrown out there last week. So they would require an annual media rights of $75 million. Last week, Action Network reported escalator clauses in the seven-year deals for the Big Ten could increase the amount from 7.7 to close to 10. To get to that amount from Notre Dame alone, the escalator would have to tack on roughly $280 million per year. So that's a lot of money. Yeah. If they, Notre Dame would have to be worth $280 million a year tacking on that. So if they're worth that, again, it begs the question of, yeah, why would you join a league where you're not making it? You know, like that's just a, that's a puzzling question that I don't know if we're, we're all the way uh, – um, in the know on, on just exactly what that looks like. But, yeah, and it would seem to favor Notre Dame, once again, uh, any negotiations and, and the power that they hold. Yeah. Also, uh, let's not forget that Notre Dame is the premier Catholic institution in this country, and they have the backing of the Catholic Church, yeah. which, last I checked, has some money. Yeah, just a little bit, just a, just a little bit, probably most of it, uh, if anything. <laughs> but, but, yeah, that was interesting. So, yeah, Notre Dame's got a special escalator. Uh, for the realignment crowd, and uh, it, it's quite the quite the fee that they could be bringing in. So it's just puzzling how how um, how much they could get on their own still uh, versus how much you know added value. And, and this obviously uh, makes it a little bit more interesting. So curious to see what that ultimately looks like.